tops. I, don't, oh, I like the shirt. I like the shirt. I like the shirt. Hi, this is Glenny Balls. And this is Caleb Presley. He's a racist. <laughs> Squeeze stop. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Caleb Presley. You might know me from everywhere. <laughs> and I'm Glenny Balls. And these are our favorite no. snacks. Okay. What? Oh, oh fuck yes. This is my official movie theater snack. I've do, been doing it my whole life. I don't know why. I used to be a really big bitch at the movie theaters. I used to, um, <laughs> yeah, like I, until I was probably like 15, I would wait outside the theater until the previews were done because I was scared of potential horror movie previews. So I'd wait outside the theater and eat these. It's also one of those novelty things that you never see in Bunch of Crunch in a store. You only see them at the movie theater. Dive into them. Tell me that's not fucking phenomenal. It's good. Take a bite. I like it. It's good. Take a bite. I can't get over that you, you used to stand outside the movie theater when you were little. I was, dude, I got so scarred by horror movies growing up. I saw War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise and that just ruined me. Why, you didn't think he did a good job? No, I just, I, I hated seeing all the people die when their family is gonna get on the boat. And I literally would wait outside during the previews of movies. And then if I heard like an Adam Sandler preview, I would run in and watch it, but then I would, you never know when a horror is coming. I'm a big pussy. Yep. <laughs> warm. These are warm. Thank you. Who did this? No, who are, who are these from? <laughs> this is breast milk. I just think if you're gonna eat something, why not eat something that God made? <laughs> why not eat something that you can suck from someone else? Why not eat something that your friend's mom made out of her body? No, I mean, I, I, in all seriousness, I just think breast milk tastes the best. I mean, almond, oat, really? Did you know that inside of a woman's boob, it's not just milk. Should we try it? Salute to breasts. I don't know how to get it out. Is yours coming out? Nope. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, we're just doing it straight up? Here you go, just give me some. Stop, stop. Don't, oh, I, like okay, I, like I like the shirt, I like the shirt. I like the shirt. It's your shirt, you have 25 shirt. I'm wearing it out tonight. Stop. <laughs> I'll take a drink though. Okay, do I just it. don't want to get my shirt fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing it to the bar later. Oh, that smells horrible. Ew. <laughs> that smells repulsive. <laughs> Why is it fucking hot? It's not even room temperature, it's hot. It's fresh out of the breast, Gwenny Bo. Like, I don't know if breasts were that hot, dude. Next snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Give me that. Okay. Okay, so these are near and dear to my heart. These are McNug- Oh, wow, they got every sauce too. 10 McNuggets. One thing about me, I like to drink, I like to hang out and party a lot. He's an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic, but I like to hang out. One of my favorite parts about drinking is waking up the next day with a severely, severely dry throat. And one of my favorite pleasures in life is driving to the nearest McDonald's, maybe the second nearest McDonald's to play some music on the way there, ordering a six pack of nuggets and a small Diet Coke, and it makes my Saturday every Saturday. You think it's true what they're saying about that guy though, McDonald, Michael? Who's that? Michael McDonald. Is he like an actor? He's a dude who fucking invented McDonald's. What's his name, Michael? Yes. They were brothers, there were two guys that did it. And then Ray Kroc stole their fucking fortune. It's a real estate play. Sunday Conversation is also a real estate play. <laughs> oh, what, light, 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 light. Whoa, imagine we just went down. <laughs> My next snack is water in a wine glass because Jesus' first miracle was making wine from water at a wedding. So basically what Jesus was trying to say, and I don't want to be talking about politics or religion, but what Jesus wanted to say was, this wedding sucks. <laughs> Let's drink. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it's oh, another great snack yeah. I have. Communion wafers. Imagine going to church. Then imagine being hungry. Then imagine, they say, in the middle of the service, let's eat. That's why I love community wafers. Now, Glenny, you might not have noticed about me, but what was my minor in college? Uh, religion studies, the way you're talking? Yeah. Scripture? That's true. The communion represents... Jesus' body. Jesus' body. So basically, it's something called transubstantiation. Yep. And basically, when you go into church, 
these wafers are just breads. But then when the, the pastor puts his finger on it, it transubstantiates into Jesus' literal body. His literal body. You are literally a cannibal. You are literally eating someone else. And what does it mean? Yeah. Just so you guys know, I operate my entire life based off trying to make people uncomfortable. Yeah, that's how I got to my position and it's how I will eventually lose my position. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm up next. I chose Cap'n Crunch, my favorite cereal of all time. Caleb has milk in his. I want no milk, actually. Don't get me wrong, I could enjoy it with milk. I like calcium. But this was just a snack I would enjoy back in the day, dry. When we started doing the show, I didn't know if it was more childhood snacks or current snacks. He didn't have childhood snacks. He had childhood trauma. <laughs> I didn't have childhood trauma. I enjoyed the Cap'n. The Cap'n was... I love the Cap'n. I wear Cap'n Crunch merch. I, I would wear that out to like a bar. I think that would actually play very well. I think chicks would enjoy Cap'n Crunch merch. Glenny Balls has premarital sex a lot. No, I don't. He does. No, I don't. I'm on a cold streak right now, actually. <laughs> I think I recently decided I don't think you're gonna come because I feel like it's not your vibe. But when I do finally get married, you're gonna be on the bachelor party list. Why would I not come? And I would like to make you a groomsman too, but I feel like you wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> Why? I don't, I don't know. You, you have to hang out with my friends. I would do it. I, I would like you to be a groomsman when I do get married. Okay. I would have immediately said yes, but now I have second thoughts. No, I want you to be a groomsman. <laughs> I'm asking you right now to be a groomsman. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching all of our snacks that we eat. I'm Caleb Presley. This is Glenny Balls. He has a show called Only Stands. We have a show together called Sunday Conversation. But this show is the only one that matters. Subscribe, hit the link in the bio. Don't go to Glenny Balls' bio and hit the link because that's going to be not safe for work. <laughs> no, it's safe for work on Instagram. Check it out at Only Stands Show. Thank you guys for watching. Don't follow us. Ah!